when you see roots in the denominators like this you should rationalize the denominator by taking its conjugate but what is a conjugate watch this video fully to learn the basic concepts of rationalizing denominator hi friends welcome back to math simplified what is a conjugate let's see some examples if you have a plus b the conjugate will be just change the sign so it will be a minus b in this case it is root 2 minus root 5 so the conjugate will be root 2 plus root 5 here you have root 3 plus root 7 so the conjugate will be root 3 minus root 7 it is really simple to find the conjugate the only thing you need to do is to change the sign if it is plus it will be minus if it is minus in the conjugate it will be plus in these questions you can see there are roots in the denominators but how will you rationalize it look at the first question you have only one term in the denominator and that is a root so you should rationalize it but you need not apply the conjugate because you just have only one term you will multiply the numerator and denominator by the denominator. So here the denominator is root 12. So you are going to multiply it by root 12 on both numerator and denominator. Now you can see this is equal to root 2 into. I am going to split this root 12 and write root 4 into root 3 divided by root 12 into root 12 it is 12 so here what is root 4 you know root 4 is 2 so 2 into root 2 into root 3 is root 6 by 12 now this 2 and 12 can be cancelled so you can write root 6 by 6 so this is your answer Moving on to the next question, you have the denominator as 3 plus root 5. So here since you have two terms, you need to apply the conjugate. So what is the conjugate of 3 plus root 5? It is 3 minus root 5. So you need to multiply both numerator and denominator by its conjugate. So I am going to write it inside a bracket like this. Here also, make sure you write them inside a bracket. Now 1 into 3 minus root 5 is 3 minus root 5 divided by. Now you can apply an identity here. What is that? a plus b into a minus b. So that is a square and that is 3 square minus b square. So it is root 5 the whole square. So this is equal to 3 minus root 5 divided by. 3 square is 9 minus root 5 the whole square is 5. So 9 minus 5 is 4. So this is your answer. Moving on to the next question. You can apply conjugate here. So you will multiply it with root 5 plus root 2. And the numerator also you will multiply it with root 5 plus root 2. Now what is 1 into root 5 plus root 2? It is root 5 plus root 2 divided by, here also you can apply the identity that is a minus b into a plus b. It is a square minus b square that is root 5 square minus root 2 the whole square. So here this is equal to root 5 plus root 2 divided by root 5 the whole square is 5, root 2 the whole square is 2. So 5 minus 2 is Moving on to the next question, you can apply conjugate here and the conjugate is 7 plus 4 root 3. You will multiply it in the numerator and denominator. So here when you multiply, you will get 7 plus 4 root 3 divided by, you can apply identity here, a minus b into a plus b. It is a square minus b square. So, what is 7 square? It is 49. So 7 plus 4 root 3 divided by 7 square. It is 
49 minus 4 root 3 the whole square is 4 into 4 into root 3 into root 3 that is 48. So you will get the answer as 7 plus 4 root 3 by 1. So you will write it as 7 plus 4 root 3. Now let's see some more types. Let's move on to this type. In this you can see there are roots in numerator as well as denominator. Never mind, just look at only the denominator part. Here, to remove the root in the denominator, you should apply the conjugate. So, first I will write 7 plus 3 root 5 inside the bracket by 3 plus root 5. Now, what I should multiply it with? The conjugate of 3 plus root 5, that is 3 minus root 5. Here also 3 minus root 5. So 7 plus 3 root 5 into 3 minus root 5 you will apply distributive property. So 7 into 3 minus root 5 plus 3 root 5 into 3 minus root 5. The whole divided by here you can see a plus b into a minus b. So it becomes 3 square minus root 5 the whole square now when you open this you will get 7 into 3 that is 21 minus 7 root 5 plus 3 root 5 into 3 is 9 root 5 plus into minus is minus 3 root 5 into root 5 is 3 into 5 that is 15 divided by 9 minus root 5 the whole square is 5. So here you can see like terms that is negative 7 root 5 and 9 root 5. So it becomes 21 plus 2 root 5 minus 15 divided by 9 minus 5 is 4. Now what is 21 minus 15? It is 6. So 6 plus 2 root 5 by 4. So, still you can simplify it by 2. You can take 2 outside. So, it becomes 3 plus root 5 by 2. So, this is your answer. Now, let's move on to the last question. In this question, A and B is given. You need to find A square minus B square. So, first step is that you need to rationalize each A and B. So, first you will rationalize A. So, A is equal to you need to take the conjugate of this denominator 2 minus root 5. What is the conjugate? 2 plus root 5. So, you will multiply it in the numerator and denominator like this. So, this is equal to, here you can see 2 plus root 5 into 2 plus root 5 like a plus b the whole square. So, you can write it as 2 plus root 5 the whole square divided by a minus b into a plus b. So it is a square minus b square. Now what is 2 plus root 5 the whole square? So you will get it as 4 plus 4 root 5 plus 5 divided by this 2 square is 4 minus 5. So this is equal to what is 4 plus 5? It is 9 plus 4 root 5 divided by negative 1. We usually don't put negative in the denominator. If it comes you will take it to the numerator. So the numerator becomes negative 9 minus 4 root 5. Since the denominator is 1, this is the value of a. Now let's move on to b. So in the same way you will rationalize b. So the conjugate of 2 plus root 5 is 2 minus root 5. So you will multiply it in the numerator and denominator like this. So in the numerator you will write 2 minus root 5 the whole square divided by a minus b into a plus b. So it is 2 square minus root 5 the whole square. So now you can open the numerator. So it becomes 4 minus 4 root 5 
plus 5 divided by 4 minus 5. So same way, what is 4 plus 5? It is 9 minus 4 root 5 divided by negative 1. So now you will take this negative to the numerator. So it becomes negative 9 plus 4 root 5 as the value of B. So now you got the values of A and B. Now let's find A square minus B square. So first you will apply the identity. So what is A square minus B square? A plus B into A minus B. So first you will substitute the values of A and B here. So it becomes negative 9 minus 4 root 5 plus negative 9 plus 4 root 5 into negative 9 minus 4 root 5 minus inside a bracket negative 9 plus 4 root 5. Now you will open the brackets inside each bracket. So this becomes negative 9 minus 4 root 5 minus 9 plus 4 root 5 and this is your first bracket into negative 9 minus 4 root 5 plus 9 minus 4 root 5. This is your second bracket. Now here you can see negative 4 root 5 and plus 4 root 5 gets cancelled. So in the second bracket also you can see negative 9 and plus 9 gets cancelled. So what is negative 9 minus 9? It is negative 18 into negative 4 root 5 minus 4 root 5. It is negative 8 root 5. So what is negative 18 into negative 8? It is 144 root 5 is your answer. I hope the concept of how to rationalize a denominator is crystal clear to everyone. Stay tuned for more videos. Till then bye and thanks for watching.